Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about the grep command. The grep command helps us to look for patterns within a file. The general syntax is grep followed by the pattern and then the file name. As an output, we are going to get all those lines which contains the pattern. Now, let us understand an important concept which is pattern and the difference between pattern and a word. So, let us suppose I am looking for the T H E. If I say the as a word, then the as a word is present only in the first line. But if I say the as a pattern, so this means I am looking for T followed by H followed by E anywhere. It can be a standalone word or it can be part of a bigger word. So, if I am looking for the pattern T H E, then I am going to get two lines as an output. The first line where T H E is a standalone word and the third line where T H E is a part of a bigger word there. So, remember grep, we are going to use patterns and not words. Now, let us see how to use the grep command and what various options are available. So, to see the use of grep command, I have created a file whose contents are on the screen. So, you might want to write the same contents in your file so that the output matches and is a better understanding. Now, to use the grep command, we'll use grep in double quotes. We'll write the pattern that we are looking for. Let's suppose the into the file data.txt. So, you can see all the files, all the lines which contains the words or the pattern the. Either it's a standalone word or it's a part of a bigger word. But it is going to look for T followed by H followed by E. It doesn't matter where it is inside the line, either the starting part of the line or somewhere in the middle or in the end, it doesn't matter. It is just looking for the pattern T followed by H followed by E. Now, there are many useful options that we can use with grip. The very first option is minus N. Now, what happens is, let's suppose the file is too large. So, even if you see this output, these lines, if the line can, if the file contains 1000 lines, how do you know where this particular line is? So, it's very convenient if I get the line number so that we can scroll to that particular line. So, we can use the minus n option. So, we'll write grip minus n and then the pattern followed by the file name. So, now you can see the line numbers along with the lines. The next option is minus C, where minus C will simply give you the count, how many lines contains that particular pattern. So, in total there are four lines containing T, H and E. Now, if you notice the output contains those lines which contains T, H, E, where T, H and E are in lower case. So, it is matching the case also. Either you are giving the pattern in the lower case or in the upper case, the exact match is there in the output. So, if you want to ignore the case, then you can use minus i. Now, you can see there is more lines as an output as compared to earlier because this here line where t is in upper case is also displayed. Similarly, the last two lines also contains t where t is in uppercase, whereas in others, t is in lowercase. The next option is minus v, where with minus v, those lines will be displayed which does not contain the pattern. So, it is kind of an inverse, those lines which does not contain the pattern. So, you can see. Don't can get confused with these here, THE, THE, because I have not used minus i, so it is matching the case. So, if you want to ignore the case, then you can club V and I and all those lines which does not contain the in any form, neither in lowercase nor in uppercase. The last option that we are going to study is minus E. It helps you to look for multiple patterns at the same time. So, let's suppose I want to look for in 
i followed by n or i want to look for is in the file data dot txt okay for every pattern you have to use minus small e so you can see all those lines which either contains in or contains is now if you just want to look for words not a pattern then you can use minus w so minus w and then let's go for the so now you can see it is giving those lines which contains the as a word not as a pattern as a comparison if i remove this now you'll get four lines this is extra okay so minus w is going to look for words and not patterns so i hope that the basic use of gref command is clear in the next video we are going to talk about regular expressions with grep which is going to enhance our ability to look for patterns within the file.